going on everybody? This is Jen coming at you on my downside. Hope you're all having a great day. Right now I'm actually doing a video response to Torp. Uh, his video entitled Through Thick and Thin. Now, <coughs> congratulations by the way on becoming a full YouTube partner uh, just by being yourself. That's first and foremost. That actually seriously deserves a huge fucking round of applause. And if nobody does that nobody applauds you, well then screw them. Because you actually got to where you're at by just being yourself. Um, now, on my side of the through thick and thin, as far as being on YouTube goes, I've been in a position where I didn't really so much introduce you to a friend so much as I talked about him a lot. Uh, I think you know who I'm talking about. If you don't PM me, I'll remind you. Um, and we were going to be working on some stuff together. And he ended up, you know, he was always some guy that I kind of idolized uh, way before I started shooting video, uh, way before I got up on here and really started doing um, my thing on my own accord. Um, but I remember talking to him about you, and he, uh, he ended up saying to me, you know, Jen, you know, this guy seems so damn negative. Uh, you know, he's always talking this negative stuff and this, that, and the other thing, and it's like, alright, that's cool, um, understood, but that's kind of reality. Um, I know that this guy that I'm referring to, new famous people, still does probably, and is doing whatever he's doing, uh, and I've idolized him for, gosh, I don't know how freaking long, to the point where it's like I dreamt of talking to him. And then when I finally did, I was like, holy shit, I can't believe I'm talking to this guy and he's about to work with me. But not only have I learned that he is very judgmental of other people that are actually themselves, but I also have realized that he is very demanding. Um, if everything is not cut and dry and perfect, um, fuck you. Um, <laughs> you have to have a perfect web presence. There is no such thing as a perfect web presence, people. There is not. There is such a thing called Google Paper Trail. If you don't know what the hell that is, look it up. All right. Nobody has a perfect online presence, nor should you have to. Okay? People are who they are. Um, and I'm actually glad that I kind of uh, pushed this guy on the wayside. Because Torp, not only, you know, was he kind of talking about you in a bad way, but it, it struck me, well, it rubbed me the wrong way, really, because you and I have been friends now for two years, at least. <laughs> and I cannot just give up friends so that I can fake it till I make it. I could have had my ass on a big fucking IMAX screen by now. I sing, I dance, I do edits, I produce, everything. I could have been up on the big screen by now. Did I take it? No. Because I cannot deal with ignorant and arrogant people. I don't care how successful they are. Okay? I really don't. If you're, if they're judging my friends, I would rather say no to that and do things my way instead of sideways, quote unquote. <laughs> you get the joke. Um, and I have to deal with that. I don't like faking to make it. Like I said in a previous video, I've done that before. I faked it till I made it. And I was never happy doing it. Did I have a lot of money? Fuck yeah, I did. But was I happy? No. I really wasn't. I mean, I knew a lot of people. I had, I mean, my freaking pockets were like busted wide open. My diamond shoes were too tight. <laughs> I mean, I had like all of the minute fucking complaints in the world that meant shit. And it's only those complaints that actually mean something to me. If they are complaints. Not that they are. That fulfill my life. And why do they? Because they consist of friendship. They consist of emotional connection with somebody that I actually love and care about. Twerp, Shayna, Cameo, that's all of you guys. I don't care what I choose to do here 
on YouTube or anywhere else on the internet, with my business, everything. You guys are my friends, and you will always be my friends, undoubtedly, and that will never change. Now, Torp, I know that you kind of left me out on your video there. You were, you know, shouting out Shayna and Cameo, and I know that you love them dearly. I love them dearly, too. I was just telling Cameo the other day, actually, I think it was yesterday that I miss her. I really do. I miss hearing from her. And, um, I just hope that you don't leave me out. I just hope that you don't think that I don't love you. Because I just told this quote-unquote bigwig to F.O. <laughs> Why? Because he was talking mad shit about you. He was talking mad shit about you. He And, and you know what? I think you remember this. Because I was telling you that I was going to do a project with this guy. And you were supportive about it. We're like, yeah, Jen, go for it, go for it. Be creative, go for it. And this guy ended up talking, I don't know how much crap about you. And I let him down. Because he did that. I'm sorry. But you cannot get in the way of me and my friends. And that is my going through thick and thin. I love you, Torque. And if you don't know that, know it now. And if you shout out, let me know. I'm not doing it for attention. Just don't exclude me because I love you. I do. So just know that, right? <laughs>